Hello everybody, my name is Zen, and the World of Warcraft Season of Mastery has launched, which is really exciting, and there's uh, quite a few really cool things to talk about here, and, and also talk about the future of what this could mean for... Uh, for content coming up for other games, not necessarily just World of Warcraft, but, you know, other things in the future that, that Blizzard decides to do. So let's let's dive in and kind of talk about what this is, because I'm sure there's a bunch of you who have no idea what is going on with this. Well, World of Warcraft Classic um, had launched, and and then we got the announcement for the Burning Crusade Classic, and, and what they decided to do was this weird thing where they allowed people to stay in classic servers if they wanted to, or to switch to Burning Crusade and continue their journey through Burning Crusade. That was really fun. I really liked when Burning Crusade Classic came out, had a bunch of fun playing it. Um, unfortunately, shortly after that, I moved and a lot of the Activision Blizzard news came out, and, and it really just kind of killed my desire to play world of warcraft unfortunately and i i took a break actually i haven't touched it in like four or five months <laughs> and now now we're here where we're at um but the thing is with that split with going to burning crusade it meant that a lot of the people who wanted to continue playing vanilla classic um got kind of stuck in that and unfortunately there was a strange paywall there that wasn't great when it was first announced and then was rolled back and was a bit cheaper but was still too expensive for people and um, the result was that world of warcraft vanilla classic was completely barren there was nobody there playing it if they were playing classic they were playing burning crusade classic and if you were playing retail like live servers then that's what you were playing and and that was that now they have released a thing called the season of mastery which is a really cool fresh take on what's going on so essentially it is a fresh start on vanilla classic servers it is similar to what you can expect from a season um in diablo and I have some thoughts on that in just a moment, but the cool thing is it has a lot of like little modifiers and changes that make classic more interesting or more appealing to certain people, but also far more difficult, thus the name Season of Mastery. So first off, all characters under 60 get the Adventure's Await buff, or Adventure Awaits buff, and it gives you 40% extra XP from quest turn-ins, which is so good. <laughs> it also gives you additional bonus XP for doing group and dungeon quest turn-ins. So it essentially means that you're in, in Vanilla Classic and level significantly faster. Um, you don't notice it on the first set of levels because that 40% really starts kicking in when your XP bar is like huge. Uh, you, you've got so much XP that you're having to turn in. And when you turn in like a bunch of dungeon quests, you, you just, your, your XP bar is just going to fly. And the thing is, they've also nerfed some of the boosting techniques that people were doing or like the AOE farm techniques and stuff like that. So it, in reality, you're just going to be putting far more time into leveling, um, the, the standard way, just doing quests. And, and I think that's a lot of fun for people. Especially if maybe you're playing the opposite faction for the first time, or maybe you're just jumping into WoW Classic for the first time. Um, it means that there's less weird areas in the leveling where there's holes that you kind of have to go grind or do dungeons and stuff like that. Um, and it also just means that you're not encouraged to just go grind dungeons over and over and over and over and burn out on the game because, well, turning in quests is far more rewarding now. In addition to that, they've done things like added the looking for group tool from Burning Crusade Classic. Um, buff and debuff limits on targets have been removed, which means, and this is kind of weird for people who don't know, but raid bosses before had a buff and debuff limit in Vanilla Classic, um, which meant that like you could only bring so many classes that had dots and whatnot, and they could only put certain things on it because it would just push other and more important debuffs off um well that is gone you could just bring a whole raid of warlocks and just put dots on everything that's uh, that's actually quite nice as a person who never really liked that uh, to begin with from um from vanilla uh, in addition to this once you actually get to max level there's so many adjustments for 
bosses. Uh, essentially, they are just across the board significantly harder. Um, that doesn't mean that they're going to be impossible. I mean, we saw when Vanilla first launched with uh, with the classic thing that they did that people just steamrolled through content. And in fact, the content cadence of this this season of mastery is going to take about a year to go through everything. So it'll just be basically every few months a new phase will launch and then you'll get the new raids and everything, which is totally fine. I think that's um, completely acceptable for like a MMO season, which is not something that we've ever really seen. Uh, and then all of the dungeons have had a bunch of different things, like um, some of them nerfs to, like I said, boosting techniques. Others are just like, you know, general buffs to to some of the, the dungeon creatures or mobs or or bosses, just making things a bit more difficult. Again, leaning into that that mastery theme for this season. Um, in addition, there's a reduction of costs for. Uh, purchasing your mount at level 40 and the skills required so you're not just having like this huge gold sink at level 40 anymore it's still you know you're still putting gold into it but it's not like almost impossible to to get unless you're being kind of savvy with your money and then they've buffed uh, max level herbalism stuff for finding black lotus and in addition to that herbalism and mining nodes have just been increased in all zones everywhere throughout the game so like herbalists and miners are just going to find so many more nodes um, which is really nice for that stuff and then there's some pvp changes in addition to that but the, the result of all of this is that we have this fresh start on world of warcraft classic vanilla which is pretty cool for people who are really into it and it's even more cool for those who haven't been able to play it and might want to go try it because now you're not being bogged down by the leveling experience. But to me, the most exciting thing about this is what does this mean for the future? Because as a person who really quite loves the idea of seasons in Diablo, and I mean, lately we've been getting some awesome seasons like with the ethereals and now these new... Uh, shards that we're getting for like legendary gems that are super powerful and crazy and unique and then just the the concept of getting that kind of gameplay loop thrown in um to a game that i've played since 2000 and like three when i got into the close beta or 2002 whenever it was and then just dove into heavy in 2004 and just play, have basically played ever since um is is very exciting you know, what What could this mean? Does, does this mean that we're going to get a season for Burning Crusade? That would be really, really cool. Is this going to mean that we get seasonal content in, and I, and I don't mean that like, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving content, stuff like that. No, I mean like, are we going to get a season in retail servers? Because that may goad me a little bit back into playing the game, depending on life and everything, you know, just in general, people come to and from MMOs all the time for various reasons and maybe a, a seasonal thing in retail or in Burning Crusade and stuff is going to bring me back. I can't guarantee that I'm going to continue to play the season of Mastery just because we're getting into the holidays and there's a bunch of other stuff going on and you know I've, I've got like the Diablo Immortal closed beta to do um, a bunch of content on and then a new Diablo 3 season is coming up and who knows what we have in store for uh, Diablo four coming up next or not coming out next year, but what, you know, maybe, maybe we get some kind of like alpha late next year or something like that. I don't know. So it would investing into playing the season of mastery be worth it. If I'm not going to go for the entire year, I don't know. It's just one of those like weird things about it, but it is so intriguing because it means that there could be more of this in the future. And to me, that is hyper exciting. And while all of this is super cool and exciting and gets me uh, pretty hyped for what potentially could come in the future, I can't make this video with also not mentioning that the fact is Bobby Kotick got called out today in a Wall Street Journal article. Uh, he's the CEO of Activision Blizzard, and most of us at this point are well aware of everything that has gone on with all the news at Activision Blizzard and and sexual um, 
harassment allegations and unfair treatment to its its workers um, has come out over the last couple of months. And, and this is just a nail in the coffin. And it really paints him as someone who doesn't actually have the best interest of his employees at heart. Surprise, surprise. So it kind of tainted the launch of this and the announcement of a new expansion for Hearthstone and and it was just terrible timing, honestly, but the games industry needs to change. Several months ago, I made a video when the Activision news broke that I was going to remain um, as a ally for these people. I'm going to continue supporting the games that the, the people who are being affected by this are making and want to, you know, make. And at the same time, I'm also going to keep holding the people around me accountable. And if anyone ever comes into my path of someone who's in the games industry who is um, going and you know doing things that they probably shouldn't be or not probably but definitely shouldn't be to people around them whether they're treating them like garbage or they're assaulting them sexually I will end your career and I think that that is the only thing that we need to say as people in the games industry because we need to root this stuff out and get rid of it and that's how I genuinely feel, which is a weird note to end this video on, but it needed to be said because this whole ridiculousness that keeps going on is tiresome and it's ruining a lot of excitement for games that we should be hyper excited for, but just are getting tired of healing, hearing bad news about. But with that being said, let me know what you think of this season of Mastery. Have you heard of it before? Is this interesting to you? Or is it more like, uh, you know, where I'm at in it? You know, the, the, the future seems really cool and unique and interesting to me of what this possibly could be in the future and what, what it might mean for other games potentially and what it might mean for, you know, standard Blizzard games that we have already. Maybe we get seasonal content in, I don't know, Overwatch. And I, and again, I don't mean like holiday content. I mean like, you know, where things reset and you get these really cool modifiers. In fact, honestly, I kind of, and this is just what I feel, I, I kind of wanted them to push it a bit further with the season of mastery, do something a little more wild. But even with the early Diablo three seasons, we didn't see that stuff. It was only once they started getting in their groove and figuring it out and seeing what they could and could not do um, that we started getting really cool stuff. So for me, I'm super excited for the future of this kind of content and dying to see what they potentially could come up with or or add to the season of mastery as we go but with all of that said thank you all for watching and we shall see you guys next time